What have you brought today for show and tell? Um, it's a mail time item. Two rocks called Septarian nodules, I think. Sounds made up. This one is named Dylan, and this one is named Tanner. These are the kids, two kids of the guy who sent us these rocks. Mm -hmm. We're trying to figure out which kid is cooler. So which whichever one looks cooler inside, that's that's the cooler kid. Yep, and this is the only way to find that out. So these, to me, just look like normal rocks, but they're unique somehow. And I don't know how or why. Do you? I don't even know the words that I'm reading, but... Septarian nodules are concretions containing angular cavities or cracks called septaria, which have become filled with calcite and aragonite. A con concretion is hard, compact mass of rock that often forms around decaying organic matter. It all makes sense now. So I now know why these are special. Well, let's just cut them open and see. Tanner is definitely harder to cut through than Dylan. Well, that means he's stronger? Yes. Maybe he has more crystals inside of him. warned about it breaking apart. Oh. Oh. That's fancy. Okay, that's looking pretty cool, Dylan. Sorry we doubted you. Can Tanner do better? Ooh. It's debatable, but... Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but... I was this. expecting it more um, like the outside. <laughs> I still don't understand how you see the outside of this and think, oh, oh yeah, it's going to look like this on the inside. Uh, there's some nodules in there. <laughs> I don't, I don't get where that. I and I can guess see you can move that here and here on this end. Yeah, so you, you can see like where the for? quartz veining is exposed on the outside, but it's not like super obvious. Well, Dan, would you like me to polish one of these up? Yeah, we've uh, we've used several different polishing methods in the past. Uh, what are you thinking will work this time? I'm thinking I could uh, maybe a couple licks. Is your tongue abrasive enough? It's like a cat tongue. Okay. So this should only take like five, ten minutes. If that. A few moments later. Well, it's pretty good. How many licks did that take? I'm gonna take probably a few more licks to get these uh, deeper grooves out. Polish it real nice, I'd have to swap out with like a 400 grit tongue. Maybe then bump it up to my 2000 grit tongue. Oh uh, yeah. To really get it to shine, but. That's still pretty good. So here are the two together. The one on the left is Dylan, the one on the right is Tanner. You guys let us know which one is cooler. And while Mitchell was licking and polishing these, I actually uh, learned a little bit more about how these are formed. Why don't you tell us, Dan? Oh, maybe I will. About 70 million years ago, the Gulf of Mexico came up further into North America. There was a lot of uh, volcanic activity that killed a bunch of sea critters, and they uh, decomposed, and their decomposing organic matter had a chemical attraction with some of the sediment. I know a lot about attraction. <laughs> so the sediment, this stuff, which eventually became kind of the outside shell of it, that all kind of formed around the decomposing organic matter and made like these mud balls. I'm with you so far. Then the ocean receded and these mud balls kind of were left there and they dried out and started cracking, which is kind of what we're seeing, you know, all through here. This is These are like the the mud ball sections that are kind of all broken apart. And then in the gaps, that's where calcite mm. kind of crept in and hardened. I think that's what I said earlier, Dan. No, you said a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> so there you go, the more you know. Agree to disagree. We've got big things coming up in the future, don't we? We do. 
So for the past couple weeks, we've been clearing out this entire space and patching drywall. And we are going to be installing a new shiny piece of equipment on the floor right here. Bet you can't guess what it is. So in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be releasing a few videos about the whole process that we're going through to um, install this piece of equipment here. Um, and they, they should be pretty exciting and informative videos. Give the viewers one hint as to what it is. Well, I can't tell you what it is, but I will say it rhymes with schmodernet. There you go.